I get this view every day. Every day. I thank the Creator. I happen to live in this beautiful place. Because I tell you, man, there ain't much more going on around here. So, you better like picturesque views if you're going to live in Nantucket. Because there's just not much else going on out here. But beach. But, uh, yeah, you know, so, let's see. What do we got here? Got about 12 steps. So, between that and then that drop over there, I'd say I'm a good 50 feet up above sea level, maybe 40 feet above the level of the ocean. What I want to know is why is that horizon right there at my eye level? Because according to the map, even if something is three miles away from me and I'm six feet tall and something is three miles away from me, then their head would be at the level of my feet. But if you go six miles, now they're going to be way down past the horizon because it's squared, which is times eight. So it's eight inches per mile when you square the mile. And that's where, you know, it's not just like a little drop. It's a curve. It's a ball. It actually has to account for dropping straight down as a ball. So I guess what I'm saying is... If I was standing right out there in the middle of the ocean, standing on the ocean, you know, like Jesus supposedly did. <laughs> um, if I was standing on there, then it's supposed to fall away from me in all directions. Which means it would be completely impossible to ever have the horizon at your eye level. It just shouldn't be there. It, you know, it, it should be noticeable. And if the boats go this way and then they go over the damn curve, well, then how come I don't see boats going this way, going up and then over? Because how many miles do you think this is right here? How many miles do you think that, that is, that, that horizon line right there? 30 miles? 20? Maybe 20? Even in 20 miles, there should be a noticeable hump. I'm getting so sick of people saying, oh, well, you just don't understand, and that's why you don't see it, because, you know, you don't understand, and you didn't go to, go to school and, and get lied to by professional liars in school, so you just don't understand. Well, I understand one thing. When you put a high-altitude balloon up in the air, and it, gets to, and it clears 100,000 feet, and you still can't see curvature. You still can't see it. You can really see that it's a flat plane all around. You can see it. It's, I mean, unless you want to use a fisheye lens and then you can easily see the curve. You can see the ball. But I mean, really, like, this is where it's at, right here. Boom. I've already done a video where I put a level up to the horizon. I mean, what's up, you know, like, I don't know. Flat Earth Asshole just did another good video. Uh, he just went and did an open mic and basically just blindsided everybody with a bunch of pictures of the lunar module and, you know, his, uh, his commentary on it. Yeah, somebody in the audience was like, are you an engineer? And it's like, why? Do you have to be an engineer to be able to look at this thing and, and realize that it doesn't fucking work? Oh, God, I got to look at you. Do you know that I had somebody in my comment section try to tell me that the uh, the Jeep, the little dune buggy that they were cruising around on the moon, that that actually folded up. It folded up and fit inside the lunar module. I mean, you wouldn't even have room for four wheels, never mind the engine and the transfer case, transmission, all that shit. Come on, man. Come on. That's really what somebody tried to tell me, though. Like, you're an idiot. They folded the Jeep up and put it in the lunar module. Like, oh, man. Keep, just keep doing what you're doing, man. I'm going to keep doing what I do, and you guys just keep doing what you do. And eventually, this will be common knowledge. And, you know, we will be among the first. We will be among the first who knew this shit. 
Peace, guys.